2020. We have got a very busy day today. Right now we are actually heading out the door to go to work. So I'm gonna go head on into the studio. After that, my coworker, Paul. Do they have people teeth? I'm vegan and gluten free. And I are gonna go hang out with our other coworker, Leslie, who I don't think you guys ever met because the day that she was supposed to make her debut on the vlog, she told us that she was pregnant. So we were all kind of doing the new baby things. Um, so now we're going to go visit her and the baby and go watch a movie and keep her company and just like hang out with her and the babe. After that, that's where I don't know what's going on. I might go grab dinner with my coworkers. I might have a game night with my friend Jack. What is that? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> or I might go see Trevor. See you later, Mara. Make some music. I have no clue at this point in time. What I do know is that uh, I gotta get going and leave for the studio right now. Got a little baggie of makeup, depending on what the plan is for tonight. Also, I got some reusable straws for Christmas, so I want to uh, keep some of those in my car, or I guess I'll designate one for my car. One for my purse. Surprise, my car's still in the shop, so my mommy is driving me to work. I feel like I'm in middle school. I'm gonna fail my spelling if test. Bullies you, let me know. I've been at work for five seconds, and Paul is already bullying me. I didn't do anything. I'm gonna tell on you. This is my first time in, going closer really to two years that we've been here. I've never opened that fridge before, ever. I've Possible never once opened that fridge. Wait, no. zoom in when I say this. I gotta eat my Brussels sprouts. Stop giving me editing notes. This is miserable. Are you proud of what you've done, Paul? Yeah. I mean, there's really no lazy dogs in here at all. There might be some up here in like Victorville. We just don't know yet. We have to explore this area still. But there's nothing in LA. You gotta go all the way over here or down here. If you can't tell, we're trying to decide where to go to dinner. I pitched lazy dog. Where are you? I'm eating a taco in the other room. Okay. Ew. It's movie night. It is? Yeah. Oh, let's go watch Lady Bird. Zero anymore, right? No, there is Coke Zero. Yeah, that's Coke Zero. No, this is Coca Cola Zero Sugar. It's Coke Zero. That's what our newly babied friend wants. Wow, we've got some uh, handmade artisanal soaps here. Look at this. This is nice. Hey, I have a problem. What? I, I realized that I picked this up for Leslie, but I also Shop brought in my Coke, and they're gonna think that I'm stealing this and I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> Probably. We are in the car. Let's go to Leslie's. Leslie, do you want to say hi? Is baby okay to be on camera? Yes. <gasps> okay, well this is Leslie, everyone. And Paul is the baby whisperer. This is sweet baby Luca. Yay, Yay. Leslie. Yay, baby. Oh, he, I tried to get him away, but he flipped you off. <laughs> I deserve it. We're starting early. I'm deceased. Oh. I'm oh. deceased. Bring Lord see Lord, oh. I she oh, she would lose her mind. She loves babies. Hi. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sersha's number one fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, best leading actress. Best leading actress. All right. What did you think of Lady Bird? I, I liked it quite a bit. Um, there was uh, an atmosphere of us talking a lot, which is totally fine. I'd like to watch it again, but but I, as best as I can tell, I, I thought it was cool. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. I think it was um, much sweatier than I remember. Like the accuracy of what high school theater is and trying to flirt with high school theater boys, that made me unwell, like physically unwell thinking about that again. That being said, we're gonna go eat some Olive Garden with our other coworker, Larry and Neo, and it's gonna be a good time. Neo doesn't work with us. Welcome to my 2003 Pontiac Sunfire. It does have a moon. Can you stop that? Put that away. Do you live at Olive Garden? Yeah. Update, we're at Olive Garden and I'm holding Nathan like a baby. It's going well for me. Oh, you can eat pasta. Oh no, lettuce. And breadsticks and soup. I love the soup here. Guys, Stephen Sondheim was in this Olive Garden tonight. 
You're welcome. Hello friends, it is now several days later. We're in bed, we got a comfy sweatshirt, we got slippers. Let's have a little Q&A. It's been a hot minute since I've like sat down to do one of these and I actually really enjoy doing them a lot. And I feel like it's a very casual, kind of chill, nice hangout. Can you tell I'm in desperate need of like a slumber party slash girls night? I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys sent me on Instagram. If you ever want to send in questions, I usually take them on Instagram. So follow me at Kath underscore steel. Let's do it. I'm gonna leave this name anonymous because I'm not sure if you want me to say your name, but the question is how do you leave a toxic theater group? You gotta leave. Like that's <laughs> that's how you leave. You know, stop auditioning for shows. Don't ingratiate yourself so much in the world of that theater group. Like don't volunteer to help all the time. Don't see every show. Don't go to every cast hangout. Start distancing yourself and you don't have to just create like a hole in your life where they once were. Fill it with something new. Fill it with family or friends who are good for you or a different theater group or a new hobby. Replacing something bad in your life with something good is way easier than just taking something out and leaving a big chunk in your heart. I'm so sorry that you're dealing with that. Toxicity is not fun, so sending you lots of love. I'm gonna leave this username anonymous as well. How do I deal with a friend treating me badly because I got a bigger role than her? I love you, love you too. I would say if someone's treating you badly over a role, A, that person's not your friend, or B, they're dealing with some heavy emotional stuff that really doesn't have anything to do with you. It really has to do with their own lack of confidence, lack of maturity, because it's not a normal healthy thing for someone to treat you badly just because you got a part that they wanted. Jealousy is definitely a real thing, but um, yeah, that's not on you. It's definitely difficult to deal with, but I would say if this is someone that you really value as a friend and you love your relationship with them, maybe take them aside or while you guys are hanging out one day, talk to them and say, hey, Things have been feeling weird because of the show. Is everything okay with us? I think opening an honest conversation and communication and dialogue between the two of you might help you work things out. I know that that sounds terrifying, believe me. When I was younger, I could not handle that sort of thing. But now that I've grown up a little, I've realized that 99% of my emotional turmoil was being afraid to communicate with people I love. Marvelous Mia asks, how much water can fit in Nathan? That is a great question, hang on. Okay. Sitting at the foot of my bed, of course. Uh, Nathan fits a full gallon, 128 ounces. I'm doing pretty well today. I, uh, I gotta drink more though, so. Abigail Norris 16 asks, what role would you want in Heather's? P.S. I love you and your vids. Thank you, that is so sweet. I'm glad that you enjoy the videos. Uh, what role do I want in Heather's? McNamara. Lindsay Sophia 25 asks, current show you'd kill to act in. Well now, just cause you said kill, I'm gonna go ahead and say Sweeney. I don't know, it rotates often depending on what I'm listening to. I've been listening to a lot of Bright Star lately. Not really a show for me, maybe I could get away with playing Margot, but yeah, I'd say Joanna and Sweeney Todd and Chrissy in Hair are always like my top two up there right now for the last like year or so. And of course, Clara in Light in the Piazza, always. Navia Singh asks, any recommendations for a less known musical album to listen to? Ooh, it depends because I feel like what's lesser known or obscure is so relative depending on how into the theater scene you are, what kind of shows the people around you listen to. But first ones that come to mind, um, I mean, Bright Star, that's not terribly obscure, but it's a good show and it's really cute and has great music and I feel like it doesn't get enough love. I've been listening to a lot of title of show lately, Spitfire Grill, Bat Boy, Bear. <laughs> if you've been around this channel for, oh, say 0.5 seconds, I've definitely suggested Bear. Christina Riri asks, would you ever want to voice an animated character in a movie slash TV show? Yes. I would love to. A few jobs ago, I used to work with someone who was really big in the animation world and I did a little bit of voiceover work for some of their indie projects and I just got to learn more about the voiceover world really at its like highest level. Anyway, I'm getting away from the point. Yes, I would love to do voiceover. It's just such a crazy competitive field and I admire what those people do so much because it is 
truly like a magic trick what they're able to do these these voice actors they're insane oh do you know what would be a crazy cool challenge that i don't even it, it would never in a million years happen but i'm just gonna put it out into the universe doing the voice acting and motion capture for a video game like i'm really into story-based video games like beyond two souls detroit become human until dawn all of that sort of mocap acting i'm really fascinated by. I don't even know a world where I'd get to do something like that, but that would be dope. It's yeehaw time, baby! Mood asks, have you ever been in a Shakespeare play? Funny enough, Technically, no. Um, I've done two different musicals where I had a heavy amount of Shakespearean dialogue. I played Kate slash Lily in Kiss Me Kate, and then I played Rosaline in Love's Labor's Lost the Musical. So both were musicals that had a lot of Shakespearean text. Isabella Harmel asks, did you move to LA? If so, from where and why? That's actually a question I get pretty frequently is like, how did I move to LA? The answer is I didn't. I was born and raised here, actually. I am a California baby through and through. I disintegrate if the weather is lower than 60 degrees. My blood is made up of in and out spread. Celine Planata asks, what are your tips for having a good connection with your scene partner? I'd say my number one tip is to be their friend off stage or off screen. It's just so much more comfortable and so much more freeing and you feel safer to fail when you have a little bit of a relationship with that person. It's it's just infinitely more comfortable and you get to kind of explore more layers when you feel comfortable with them. Adol Prado asks, have you had any mishaps during a show? <laughs> Have I had any mishaps? Yes. In fact, it's a whole series on my main channel. I have like five or six of them at this point, I think. Maybe I should do another bedtime story soon. Heidi Page 101 asks, have you ever sneezed on stage? Yes. There have been a couple of shows that I've been really, really sick during, but I can definitely remember full out blowing my nose on stage during Evil Dead. Porkchop Chris asks, going into tech week for Mamma Mia, number one thing to bring to rehearsal? Water. Water. And more water. If you're dehydrated, you're miserable. It's going to destroy you. I would also say if you have water provided or if you're already bringing water, maybe like some sort of nutritious snack, like a protein bar or some beef jerky or like peanut butter. I, I don't know, whatever accommodates your lifestyle and your ability to have food with you. Because I think one of the worst things about Tech Week is you're in rehearsal all day, you're miserable and you're hangry, and then you get off and you go straight to McDonald's, or in my case, in and out and then you eat your weight in french fries, and then you feel miserable and you were still super hangry all day. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the first vlog of 2020 and this little Q&A. Let me know if you want more Q&As in the future because I enjoy doing them. I think it's a nice kind of informal way to hang with you guys. If you liked this video or if you're excited for more vlogs in the future, give this one a big thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.